Sega. What is up guys, my name is Lopsa and welcome to Sonic Generations. Yeah, this game won't fall, so I'll be doing this. So I guess without further ado, let's start. Let's press the start button. Yes, I know. Right, new, right. These are the options, by the way, before I start. Um, I would like to show that I've actually created a brand new profile for my PS3. Just so can I can play these games because when I tried to use my own profile to play this game, it said uh, when I start a new game, there's only one save file. I was like, no thanks. So yeah, I decided to create no one. So no trophy whatsoever on this profile. So at least I get to show the trophies in this game, or some of them at least. Brightness setting? I, I don't really care. <sighs> Might as well. So you know what to do. So you'll see the hints. Oh, we start straight away in the game, by the way. Classic Sonic uh, approach. Okay, I'm gonna say this right now. I'm not the great, greatest of in this game. I'm not the greatest in Sonic games. Actually, this is the only Sonic game I own, so... Yeah, I know. Thanks so much, Joe. So, Sonic Generations. <laughs> I got this game like a week after I got my... Hold on, let me turn the audio down in my head so I can actually like, talk. So yeah, I got this game about a week after I got my PS3. So, this is like one of the first games I actually own in the system. The first two being Gran Turismo 6 and uh, Sly 4, because they came with the PS3. Oh my god, so many springs! Yeah, so Sonic Generations, the 20th anniversary, uh, what's it called? Uh, special, I guess. Oh, well, yeah, this is kind of a special. It was made to celebrate the 20th um, anniversary of Sonic. And as far as I can see, it's a pretty good game. There we go, did I win? So that was the first stage. Um, some of the people who know you, uh, the Sonic, um, yeah, that might be a hint for you. Also, so many trophies. Oh, I can see. He'll be 
here! Any second! Hey guys, what's going on? You having a party or something? Surprise! Ah, <laughs> you guys! It's kind of impossible to surprise you. You totally got me this time. I had no idea. Yeah, right. Happy birthday, Sonic. Hope you like this. Like it? I love it! And he dies. So that's it for this let's play. It was a lot shorter than I thought it would, but wait, what? Nah, just kidding. So yeah, that's the plot of the game. All my friend, uh, Sonic's friends are captured, and now we are in some in nowhere, pretty much. Right. No options. Oh god! Luckily, it's saved. I need to go to the options screen. Just gonna pop in there real quick. Once it decides to load, subtitle, subtitle is on. And that's all I want to do get the subtitles on. Okay, there's one thing I don't like about this game already, and that's it's locked at 16.9. Ratio, which normal TV not a big problem, but I got a pretty old uh, TV that displays in 4 by 3 ratio, so it's pretty much forced to 16 by 9, so it's kind of it's really small. It's kind of a problem, but never mind. So we are doing another level, um, Act 2. Once we once I beat the level, I will explain how the how this game actually works. Loading screen. Thanks, Mojo. So fast. Okay, you should all know the music if you played any Sonic game. Or even vaguely heard of Sonic.
This level design might be... Um, might not tell you anything, but... It says let's dig the deep that works as well. No, there was a there's a big fish trying to eat me. Oh yeah, that's the combo system that you can do. Whoops. I'm I'm so concentrated on the game that I'm not talking. Which is kind of a bad thing when you think about when I'm supposed to be talking all the time. But yeah, Sonic Generation. Um, what I played, a pretty good Sonic game. Then again, I don't know. I haven't played any other Sonic game, so there's nothing really to to compare it against. Oh yeah, Sonic Speed! Yeah, so... After I've done this game, I pretty much time to pick three. Pick three game series there are. When I seriously mean pick three, I mean... The three games that have been running for ages now. I don't consider Metroid being one. Even though that's been around for a few, like, few decades, but the only reason why I don't consider it is because there's so little games of Metroid out there. I can think eight of eight only. So yeah, that's not a big tree, but Sonic is, and so is Mario and Zelda. Sonic, I thought I was dead, floating without a body in a black limbo. <sighs> I'm gonna have nightmares for weeks. Is it me, or is that place we were just in awfully familiar? Mm, not to me, but this place looks like something sucked all the life and color out of it. Totally strange. No stranger than rescuing genies in magic books or saving aliens in an interstellar amusement park. I'm more concerned about finding our friends. Hey, Sonic, I saw something over there in the distance. Like buildings, but they look weird. That might be a good place to check out. I'll be back soon. Wow, you weren't kidding when you said soon. I thought you already left. Hmm. Yep. That was Green Hill. Green Hill Zone from Sonic 1. So pretty much every level is divided into two acts. One that you can play with classic Sonic and one that you can play with modern Sonic. And by pressing triangle you can switch between the two. Now I'm waiting apparently. There we go, we got the trophy. So yeah, press it triangle. Let's you switch between Sonics. They don't know that yet though. Hey, it's Tails. Yeah, I, I, I saw that. Oh, Red Rings, they are back in this game as well. Yeah, I'm not gonna go for the Red Rings. No, I'm not 100% in this game. Um, nope. Not gonna be happening. 
Alright, let's go through this level and... Yeah, there, about that. But I wanted to play side-scroller style stage. Uh, classic Sonic, and Act 2 is between 2D and 3D. Yeah, you can play Act 1 and Act 2 in any order. Act 1 tends to be easier though. That's something I don't actually like to do. I, yeah, pressing R1. Let, let's do a quick switch easily. Uh, skill customization, you can see that. And there's nothing that's going to help us in any way yet. Oh, I'm flappering. I should stop the episode. And this first episode, let's explain a few things. So over here is the shop. Oh, here's the board, and this is um, um, collections room where you can find all scary stuff. I'll show you that um, later. But anyway, this is the shop that allows you to buy skills, oh, like this one. As you can see, they do cost uh, points on that you get by collecting rings in the game. And to get some of these um, skills, they require some skill points to use. And you only get 100 skill points. So that's where the skill set comes in and you can customize it. Betting on stuff. Anyway, that was the beginning of this game. Next time we'll be doing this place. Um, I don't know what place is it. We'll be doing it next time. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.